I think this sign lights up at uh, night, but uh, even though it's like daylight, you can still see it. I think it looks pretty cool. Right here on Ferry Street. Hey, what's up guys? Alex here. Let me just put on my sunglasses real quick. Yeah, there we go. There's still a little bit of glare. Well, I'm here in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. This is my second walking video of the day. And it's a, it's a cloudy one, but there's peaks of sun out. And it's quite chilly out. It's four degrees Celsius, which is like early 40s uh, Fahrenheit. And uh, I just walked here from the Clifton Hill tourist area where I was, uh, where I was grabbing uh, Wendy's for lunch. After a, uh, after I filmed a, a walking video along the, along the uh, Niagara River Parkway, and as you guys probably may know, if you did watch my previous Niagara Falls video, I took the Go commuter train here, a two-hour and a thirty-minute ride. It was quite relaxing, and I did film a WeGo bus ride all, um, on the way down here. So we're at uh, the intersection of Ferry Street and. Falls View Boulevard. Ferry Street has uh, a lot of restaurants uh, uh, dotted along uh, along the stretch. Even when uh, Ferry becomes uh, uh, Lundy's Lane at Main Street. But uh, this area, at least along the stretch here, is where they have a lot of the uh, world-renowned international chains here. Like uh, Double Tree, Hilton, Embassy Suites, you can all you can all see them in the background. And uh, I've, of course, uh, if, maybe if you're a Torontonian like me, I grew up going to Niagara Falls. Even when I was very young, I think I, I know we stayed at some hotels, but I got to ask my mom if we did stay inside one of these hotels. I know one of them had a water park, or, unless I'm thinking of the um, uh, the one. I forgot. But there's so many hotels here. I, I can't even. I can't even remember uh, the names of some, including the one uh, uh, right next to the uh, the Peace, I mean the Rainbow Bridge. The Peace Bridge is in Buffalo, which is 30 minutes away. And here's a motel here, the Fairway Inn. Motels are, aren't really that pretty, to be honest. They look run down, outdated. Like, all the years I've been going to Niagara Falls, I've seen a lot of motels lose their identity. They're just, they just become sketchy as hell. And I believe we were walking south here on Falls View Boulevard. A block uh, west of here is Stanley Avenue. But this street is more interesting because you have a lot of activity here. And I th thought of filming elevators inside one of the hotels here, but... None of them look too appealing to me. Yeah, I probably won't do it. Also, today's a Saturday, so I don't think anything else would be open. And I did mention about tracking down one of the only Orion 7 buses with the Detroit diesel engine in service, but unfortunately, it's not tracking right now. And I don't know if it will for the rest of the day. So once again, another failed opportunity, but uh, maybe next time I'll come back on a weekday and maybe stay until like dark, who knows. But so far, uh, so far it's been good. I got the thumbnail with the uh, Skylon Tower and all the hotels in the background. So the past few times, I've I have always, I always went here with my dad. We drove, and that's when I did. And uh, last time we did do that, I did my usual things. This time I'm on my own. As I just mentioned, I took the the Go Train and then the WeGo bus here. So now I got like three hours left as it's around uh, 1 p.m. I've been here since 11.30-ish. Uh, it's a helicopter. And I've never walked here before, so uh, we're gonna check it out. And today is Saturday, November the 11th, 2023, Remembrance Day. Once again, uh, remembering those that lost their lives while trying to defend our country in general and even especially during World War One and Two. And if you're a Canadian Armed Forces member watching this, thank you very much for your service. I 
I think my dad's friend has a son. I think I think he's a member of the uh, the CAF in uh, Petawawa, Ontario, which is a two-hour drive away from Ottawa. I know of his places inside the uh, Lawrence Square shopping mall. So there's the Windham, there's the Wyndham Garden. And there's IHOP, it's a American chain of breakfast restaurants. There's several IHOP restaurants here. I remember we went, because in 2014 we did go to Great Wolf Lodge um, in both 2012 and 2014 respectively. And I remember uh, after we checked out, we went to one of the IHOP restaurants. Was it this one here? I don't know. Uh, and I forgot to even mention that this is where the Falls View Casino is. I am positive it was right here. Was it? I gotta check the map and see. But I, but I did hear last year that IHOP was coming to the GTA. I think Brampton, Oshawa, and I think London and Windsor. But yeah, because uh, Niagara Falls is obviously located right next to the Canada-US border, there's of course a lot of American restaurants and chains here that you pre probably wouldn't see uh, anywhere else in Canada. There's the Holiday Inn. I have never been to the Skyline before. I don't know when I'll go there. I'm not really desperate to go there anyway. It's just a bootleg version of the uh, Seattle Space Needle. Maybe that's how you Americans would refer to that as. But for those of you that have never been to Niagara Falls before, think of it like the Las Vegas of Canada. Always full of the the countless hotels, many restaurants, attractions, casinos, you name it. Making it a perfect day trip from um, Toronto, Hamilton. Because it's an hour 25 minute drive from Toronto, but if you're in the very farther parts of the province, like in southwestern or eastern, even northern, then sucks for you. There's the Niagara Region Transit Bus. And that covers routes all over the region, although Niagara Region Transit has consolidated St. Catharines, Niagara Falls, and Welland for Erie into one, but they still got their brandings on uh, their respective locales. Rest in peace, Mr. Buffet. Shops, Galleria. Is that a shopping mall? Because, hmm, I might have to check that out. This looks interesting. Yeah, maybe I'll take a, a peek in there. Man, you are so freaking loud. Always hate when people do that just for like freaking attention. But look at that, there's the falls. And there's New York. New York! <laughs> I would probably say that if I was actually in the States. Like I was back in April, but still. I'll be over there very soon. Oh wow, this looks trippy. Look at this. You guys like motorcycles, wow. This one's got uh, lights on it. And I definitely love the blue color on that too. Look at that, the Ontario flag and the Canadian American flags all flying half mast. Corso, a culinary tour of Italy. They have a pedestrian. Oh, look, they have some. They have a couple of pedestrian bridges here too. Uh, you know what? 
I want to go over to the other side. The entrance to the Fault 2V Casino is actually quite interesting. Again, it's either I've never been here before or I haven't been here in like ever since I was like little. I think my dad went into the casino once, but he doesn't gamble. Maybe what I'll do is after I'm done uh, filming, I'll probably uh, p uh, take a quick peek inside one of the buildings here, including, the, including this shopping mall, maybe the casino. And I'll take a look around. I've been exploring a lot of like buildings around the city lately, like public properties like uh, the carpet factory. There's the Hilton. Wow, this is nice. Very nice. Yeah, I, I might as I may go in there later. This is nice. Watch it here. Of course, there's another Starbucks. There's the WeGo Blue Line, so I could just take I can just take that back to uh, Clifton Hill. Another IHOP restaurant. It's definitely not the one I went to. This is nice. I'm glad I walked here. Oh, and there's Applebee's. Look at that Comfort Inn. They pretty much have like <laughs> everything here. It's quite interesting. Of course, you know, all the major attractions, they all attract Many people of different cultures here. That looks like Taylor Swift. And there's another motel. Looks like it's been repainted, but I probably doubt it. The pressing color, but you got the the doors painted blue. Let's all go to Marine Land one mile. Hell no. Marine Land used to be a great place. I remember hearing the jingle growing up, right? So, uh, if you're, if you lived in Toronto like me or in Ontario even, who remembers that jingle? It was quite nice, but uh, the amusement park has seen less visitors than before and struggling. Not to mention that the park has faced major criticism for keeping the the orcas captive for several decades, which is which is terrible. But I went there a couple of times when I was very, very young. I don't remember them at all, but uh, we won't be going back there anytime soon because Marine Land is, I don't think everybody loves Marine Land anymore. Oh, sh the light just changed. Look at that, guys. So, almost almost bringing me back to where I started. Well, not the video, but my, the first one. Because I can easily just like take down the stairs, and the stairs, and I can uh, pretty much uh, go over to the Horseshoe Falls. See, look, it says to the falls and attractions. Well, this street doesn't end for probably another block or two, so we're going to keep going. Copacabana.
Hopefully by some miracle, 2368 enters service, but I highly doubt it. And there's two Marriott hotels. Oh look, the sky falls view. Oh, so there must be a steakhouse restaurant right in that tower. Hmm. Maybe I will check out these places after all. I think I'm gonna grab myself some dessert from Dairy Queen uh, later on. Hopefully I won't get caught if I even do try to explore the inside of these hotels. But they look very intriguing to me. I'm already very tempted to go inside and I think I will retract my statement on not going. I mean, you never know, so. Morton's Grill. Of course, I have another Starbucks. I gotta find a good entrance that's believable and there's like no, like not much security. No, there, 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 <laughs> look at that guys, there's that ex-go bus once again. Every time I go to Niagara Falls, this bus is always here. And I saw it over at the, the Horseshoe Falls over an hour ago. And this street comes to an end up ahead. Oh my god, look at this. Okay, you can't really see much of the falls, but what a view. I wonder where Buffalo is. I mean, it's 30 minutes away, but you can't really see shit. See the skyline of Buffalo all the way from here. What direction am I even heading or facing? Uh, just checking the map here. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to see Buffalo from here. But here's a view that I've never discovered before. Well, anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to start wrapping things up. I'll do a little bit of exploring around here. See so if I could find some elevators to film, even if I'm reluctant to. And I think this is just a residential part of town now. Yeah, I think that's probably the case. And there's a family over there, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to stop right here. So, guys, uh... I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day and film some more videos when I can before I need to get out of here. So guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my others as well and stay warm, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Take care, guys. Adios. Peace out and bye-bye.